Hello, I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today I'll be talking about speed addition. I've earlier also have released one video on speed addition, but this is the second part of it too, with some more illustration about it. We'll first understand what is speed addition and why should we do speed addition? What is the benefit of speed addition? Uh, you may have done Vedic addition also. Now, Vedic addition, speed addition, there is some little difference uh, between the two. So, we'll first see what the speed addition is all about and I'll give you a demonstration of speed addition then, and then I'll explain the further thing. So, let me now write some numbers at random and I'll just make a totaling of those numbers and you will see the speed of that addition. Uh, say, for example, I write 6, 7, 5, 3, 2, 4, 8, 3, 6, 9, 7, 2, 4, 3, 5, 6, 8, 5, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 5. Now, this is a 5 by 5 addition and I'll do it through the method of speed addition. Uh, I'll count 1, 2, 3. The moment I finish 3, I'll start doing the calculation, right? So let me start, start it. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Uh, I've done it. Let me just check it up. Absolutely okay. So this was a speed addition. I've done the speed addition without using any formula or any tricks, right? Now this is what is speed addition, but many of you may have done Vedic addition. And in Vedic addition, we use certain process, certain method, some tricks you use there by which you can do calculation faster. But let me just see the difference between the two first and then I'll explain the benefit of both the things, right? So I'll give an example of Vedic addition first here. Say for example, I have to add, you have to add uh, 92 with 43. Here we will not do the conventional way of making the addition from 3 plus 2 is 5 or then 4 plus 9 is 39, like that. We will take the second place is 9, we will take it as 90 and take it as 40. 90 plus 40 is 130 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So, 135, you can do it mentally. This has made the calculation, this addition faster. Uh, say for example, we take another, another uh, example, 347 by 243. Say 242. So here it takes the hundreds place, 300 and it is 200, 500. 440 plus 40 is 80, 580 and 7 plus 2 is 9, so 589. So you can do the calculation mentally from left to right. Another example, 735. 233. 700 plus 200 is 900. 30 plus 30 is 60. 960 plus 5 plus 3 is 8. 968. Here we have used a method, but the problem is, the issue is that if I increase it, 437, 382, 673, 475, then if you use this method, it will take much more time and then using this method may not be very suitable until you have got a lot of practice and all that, right? So there, we, what I suggest is we'll be using the speed addition, means here we'll not take the help of those tricks, we'll simply take the help of my processor. I'll increase the speed of my processor in such a way that my calculation even by the conventional method will become much faster. So I will make the totaling of this. 
So I'll count one, two, three. The moment I finish three, I'll start doing the addition here. Yeah, right. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Let me just check it. Right. So it's okay. So I've done it by the speed addition method. So here you can understand the difference between the two is this speed addition helps to increase the speed of my addition. And the speed of addition means it is the speed of your processor. Increasing the speed of a processor. When it do calculate something at a fast speed means our uh, we are doing calculating any mathematical operation, doing any mathematical operation faster. Here the operation is addition. So if you're doing addition faster, you're doing speed addition. But the benefit is this, if you can do your speed addition faster, this will help you to make other calculation also faster. For example, a multiplication where you use the addition in many places in between. So if your addition is faster, multiplication will also become faster. So by the help of speed addition, you can increase the speed of your entire calculation much more faster. So before I go further, I will give you some examples of some speed addition. Let us first do it a four by four digit uh, addition. Four by four digit, say four, five, three, six, seven, two, three, eight, five, six, five, four, nine, eight, two, six. This is a four by four addition. I'll count it, I'll make the calculation. I'll say one, two, three. The moment I finish three, I'll start it. Say one, two, three. Okay, I've done it. Let me check it. Absolutely okay. So this is a four by four addition. I think you have seen the speed of my calculation. So I'm not using any formula or any tricks here. I'm simply doing the addition with the speed of my processor. Now, how about increasing it to say four by five? Let me do that. Rather than four by four, four by five, how better I can do it? Four, eight, two, three, seven, eight, nine, five, three, six, five, eight, seven two three seven five six two eight this is a four by five sum and i'll do that in the same way i'll count one two three the moment i finish three i'll start it one two three i've done it let me check it Absolutely okay. So this is a four by five sum. I've seen my speed, that's what speed I've done it. My processor is doing faster, much faster. Now I'll increase it to say, for example, the five by five and see how difficult it becomes for me. Five, six, three, two, nine, seven, two, four, eight, three, six, eight, five, four, two, seven, eight, three, six, five, nine, eight, two, three, six. This is a five by five addition. I'll do it. I'll count one, two, three. The moment I finish three, I'll start it. One, two, three. I've done it, let me check it. Absolutely okay. So this is a five by five sum. Um, although I can go up to any number, I'll have to just do the last one, a six by six addition. And if you, when you practice it, you can do up to any extent. When you know about it, and you do this, you can go up to any extent. So I'm taking six, four, three, two, 
five four seven eight nine three two six five six two five three seven eight four three six two eight seven six five four three two nine two one five six four this is a six by six addition and i'll do it with a speed addition method so i'll count one two three the moment i finish three i'll start it one two three I've done it. Let me just check it up. Absolutely okay. So this is the six by six thumb. Now, but this I wanted to demonstrate to you that this when we are more considering on the formulas and tricks by various methods like Vedic maths or any other methods. Those are very useful things by which you can really do our calculation faster. But we are forgetting one thing. The students, the young children, they have got a lot of capacity in their processor. It then increase the speed of the processor also at the same time. Along with knowing those tricks and formulas, their mathematical calculation will become much faster. They'll create more interest in doing, interest in doing mathematics and they will, they'll be more focused and their logical thinking will also increase manifold, right? So uh, the need to understand, they need to know about speed addition. So I have developed certain courses in speed addition. Also, I'm conducting classes on Vedic mathematics. So what I want that my children should first go to the speed addition, understand the speed addition, and after that increasing their speed, and then they learn along with it, they learn basic mathematics, then their calculation will become much faster. And the people who are going for the competitive examination, their processor will become much faster and they can do calculation much faster. Now for this, I have developed a course for the speed addition, if simply a four days course, four hours, one hour each online, four days with a minimum amount of money. I mean, you can do that speed addition course where I can, I guide them to practice things in a certain way. So after some practice, some time, they can increase their speed and also with the help of the parents, they can do much better, right? And that's what uh, you, if you are interested, you are interested for yourself or interested for a child, you can contact me in the number I have given the screen and the email address I have given, I will write, write down the number here for you. The num my number is 9818635599. Here you can contact me for knowing the my dates of my courses when I am going to conduct the courses and all other details about it, about the speed addition as well as for basic mathematics. But initially, I would suggest that students should do the speed addition because that will create their interest in their mind and their capacity to do things will become much faster, right? So, uh, with that, I will now, at last, I'll request you that if you have seen my video and if you liked it, please do subscribe, don't forget it. That's important. And if you have liked it, please give like and if you want, you can give some comments. Uh, I most will come to do that, right? So with that, thank you very much. All the best. See you in my next video.